Butterfly for a King, Susan L. Roth and Cindy Trumboy. Saving Hawaii's Kamehameha Butterflies. A spiny caterpillar becomes a magnificent butterfly. The butterfly lays eggs that become spiny caterpillars. The cycle goes on and on. But what happens when the cycle is broken? What if the butterflies start to disappear? This is the story of a beautiful butterfly that lives in Hawaii and nowhere else on Earth. It's also a story of citizen science in action, where ordinary people worked with scientists to help save the butterfly. And it all started with a bang. Lava flowed, and islands rose. Millions of years ago, melted rock blasted up from a searing hot spot in the floor of the Pacific Ocean. The melted rock, called lava, hit the water and cooled, forming a volcano. Over time, layers of lava piled up. The lava grew above the surface of the water and spread out to form an island. The volcano sat on a plate and moving part of Earth's outer crust. As the plate moved very, very slowly over the hot spot, at about the speed fingernails grow, new volcanoes and new islands formed. Islands rose and formed a chain. As the islands rose one by one, they formed the chain that is known today as Hawaii. The nearest continent was more than 2,000 miles away, 3,219 kilometers. Plants reached the chain, and a butterfly landed. Some plants blew to the islands as seeds. Other plants floated there on water. Still others probably arrived as seeds in the bellies of birds. Tens of thousands of years could pass before each new plant arrived. Many plants were good hosts for the bees, butterflies, moths, and other small animals that landed in Hawaii. And a few of the plants were good hosts for the ancestors of one special butterfly that arrived in Hawaii from North America or Asia long ago. The butterfly landed and years sped by. This special butterfly is found only in Hawaii where it flies over mountains and along streams and valleys. The adult butterfly drinks nectar from flowers and sap from trees, especially the koa tree, koa. When the butterfly folds its lower wings over its upper ones, it looks like tree bark. When it unfolds its wings, it shows its fuzzy brown body and beautiful orange, black, and white markings. Years sped by, and a comet blazed. Halley's Comet was the first observed in the sky more than 2,000 years ago. It zips around the sun and is visible from Earth about every 75 years. In 1758, Halley's Comet was seen in the night sky above Hawaii. But even before this sighting, stories about a comet were told on the islands. People said that a light with feathers, like a bird, would appear in the sky and then a great leader would be born. The comet blazed and a king was born. No one knows for sure when the great leader, King Kamehameha, was born, but some historians suggest 1758 because Halley's Comet was seen that year. Until the early 1800s, the islands were ruled by warring chiefs. Kamehameha, Kamehameha, Kamehameha was a tall, strong warrior from the island of Hawaii, which would give, his, give its name to the whole chain, to the whole chain, he battled the rival chiefs to become king of all Hawaii in 1810. In time, the special orange, black, and white butterfly was named the Kamehameha butterfly to honor the king who brought all the islands together under one rule. Children loved the king, and children spoke up. Okay, today, Hawaii is one of the 50 states of the United States. The people who live in Hawaii still remember the great king Kamehameha, and they love the butterfly named for him. In 2009, six fifth grade students in Hawaii thought there should be an official state insect. Naturally, they considered the Kamehameha butterfly. They also thought about Hawaii's happy face spider, even though spiders are not insects. 
Luckily for the Kamehameha butterfly, the students decided people like butterflies more than spiders. With their teacher's help, the students prepared talks, wrote letters to lawmakers, and then went to the state capitol in Honolulu. They asked the state's leaders to pass a law saying that Kamehameha butterfly was the state insect. Children spoke up, and a law was passed. The students told lawmakers that the butterfly's numbers were shrinking. They hoped that recognizing the butterfly as the state insect would make people want to protect it and help it survive. The students pointed out that the butterfly was named for King Kamehameha, who had united their, island, their islands, and the butterfly helped pollinate plants. This was like sharing aloha. Aloha is a traditional Hawaiian word used to say hello and goodbye, but it means much more. When you practice aloha, you remember always to have respect and compassion for others and to give joyfully. The state lawmakers agreed with the students. They voted to pass a law that made the Kamehameha butterfly the state insect. The law was passed. And people asked questions. As residents of Hawaii learned that the Kamehameha butterfly had been named the state insect, they realized they weren't seeing the butterflies around much anymore. Animals and insects that had been brought to the islands from other places were destroying them. There weren't as many of the plants the butterflies needed to live as there used to be. People contacted the state government and asked if anyone was helping the Kamehameha butterfly. People asked questions. And a project began. To help save the Kamehameha butterfly, the State Department of Land and Natural Resources worked with the University of Hawaii. Together they created the Pulelehua Pulele Pulele Project. Pulelehua is the Hawaiian word for butterfly. The word also means to be scattered as if blown by the wind. A good description of how butterflies fly. First, the project scientists had to understand where the butterflies were still found on the islands. They asked the people of Hawaii for help collecting data. Through a website, the scientists encouraged volunteers called citizen scientists to send in photos of Kamehameha butterflies in all stages of their life cycle. With the photos, people included information about when and where each stage was seen. The project began, and butterflies laid eggs. Female Kamehameha butterflies lay their eggs on the top of, or bottom of the leaves of certain trees and bushes. They choose only plants with leaves that their caterpillars can eat. The most common of these plants is mamaki. Mamaki, a plant native to Hawaiian islands. So citizen scientists search plants for eggs that look like tiny brown or gold jewels. Butterflies laid their eggs and caterpillars hatched. Citizen scientists also looked for Kamehameha caterpillars that had hatched from their eggs. Using sharp mouth parts called mandibles, a caterpillar cuts a half circle in the edge of a leaf. Then the caterpillar pulls the cut part of the leaf over itself and seals it up with silk it spins with its mouth parts. This forms a shelter like a little tent. Citizen scientists look for these shelters too. Caterpillars hatched and shed their skins. A growing caterpillar munches on its shelter, sometimes creeping out to feed elsewhere on the leaf. When the shelter has too many holes, the caterpillar moves and makes a new shelter. As it eats and grows, the caterpillar gets too big for its skin, so it sheds its skin, showing new skin underneath. After shedding the skin four times, the caterpillar is bright green with little spines. Then it hangs upside down from a leaf or twig and sheds a fifth time, transforming to a chrysalis. Citizen scientists search for these chrysalises dangling from leaves and twigs. Five skins were shed, and butterflies were born. Inside the chrysalis, the Kamehameha butterfly's body slowly turns into a butterfly. After 10 to 15 days, the adult butterfly emerges from its dangling chrysalis, flexes its wings, and flies away looking for food. It uncurls its tongue-like proboscis, proboscis and to sip nectar from flowers and sap from koa trees. Female Kamehameha butterflies have white spots on the tips of their wings. Males have both light orange and white spots on their wingtips. 
So citizen scientists looked for the bright patterns of the butterfly's wings. Butterflies were born, and scientists tried new ideas. While scientists, citizen scientists were collecting data, the project scientists were breeding Kamehameha butterflies in an insect lab. They tried different ideas to get the butterflies to lay eggs. One scientist read that a relative of the Kamehameha butterfly liked to mate at sunset. So he brought captive butterflies to the lab's roof to see the beautiful Hawaiian sunsets. Success! The beautiful, <laughs> the butterflies mated and the females laid eggs. The project scientists had a computer program analyze all the data that had been collected. Then they used the results to make a map showing the best places to release the butterflies they had raised in the lab. To get ready for the releases, people planted mamaki and other plants that would attract Kamehameha butterflies. Scientists tried new ideas and butterflies flew. In 2017, the hopes of the students who wanted to help the Kamehameha butterflies eight years earlier were fulfilled on a beautiful day in April, just before Earth Day. People from the Department of Land and Natural Resources took a carrier filled with 94 butterflies to a marsh on the island of Oahu. They put sugar water on their t fingers, and butterflies climbed on. Then they held their hands in the air and watched the butterflies fly away. Releases of thousands of butterflies followed in other areas. One of the most promising release sites, the Manau Manoa, the Manoa Cliff Restoration Area on Oahu, is cared for entirely by devoted volunteers who have been restoring native plants there for many years. Scientists in Hawaii continue to look for new ways to help Kamehameha butterflies survive. The scientists have begun releasing eggs in the wild instead of butterflies. Eggs are easy to raise in an insect lab, and the scientists can release thousands in just one week. They put the eggs in empty paper tea bags and clip the tea bags onto mamaki leaves. Where the eggs hatch, the caterpillars climb out of the tea bags right into the leaves. A spiny caterpillar becomes a magnificent Kamehameha butterfly. The butterfly lays eggs that become spiny caterpillars. And with the help of many hands, the cycle goes on and on. Who's cute? You're cute.